Hey everybody, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So after I did my video on the, the IN antenna, I noticed a lot of you want a lightweight UFL uh, antenna that has a UFL connector on the back of it. And I'm going to show you how to make the lightest weight one that I can think of, which is a, a dipole out of uh, basically one of these SMA extensions. So I'll put the link in the description for this. Uh, this antenna right here, well, this extension right here, and then you can turn that into the UFL antenna for your build. Um, it's going to be a linear dipole. I'm not a big fan of linear dipoles. It's not what I'm going to run on my rig, but it's what you guys want, so I'll show you how to make a light weight one. All right, so the way your antenna like like this one works is you have a... It's a little easier to see with this, this wider one. You have this shielded um, piece of wire. There's like this uh, shielding that goes around here, which is connected to your ground. And then there's a signal uh, line that goes through here. And it goes out and it connects to your antenna. And your antenna screws it, you know. And then your antenna is the unshielded portion of it. Well, uh, you're basically preventing the signal from escaping with this shielding that's going around it. And you're, you're forcing that out to the antenna area to make a... Uh, dipole one we were just gonna have a so this is a you know linear antenna we just need to tune a piece of wire to the right uh, frequency this one is tuned to 2.4 this is one for a uh, free sky radio uh, receiver and it is quarter wavelength for you know that and and you can look up online calculators for this but it's basically the speed of light divided by the frequency to get you what your full wavelength is and normally there's a quarter wavelength and um, half wavelength is what you'll see for antennas so this is this is a 2-4 antenna right there's all this shielding on here that, that extends up to here and then this portion is not shielded which is why you don't want to mount your antenna against like the metal or something like that because you're messing with the you you actually end up reflecting the beam in one direction the same you're you're shielding it on one side which makes it really good like on this side but it makes it bad on the other side wherever the the shielding is anyway but if this so this is quarter wavelength for this so the full wave is about this long which is like this wave right is um, so a 2.4 megahertz wave extends from here to here basically uh roughly and then the same thing with uh five so we want to tune this because it's going to be our video signal to our 5.8 gigahertz signal so that one would be quarter wavelength on this is 31.23 millimeters and quarter wavelength on 5.8 is um 12.92 millimeters so all we need is a pair of wire strippers to do this so uh, i and again i'll put the link for this in the description for this for this uh, SMA extension basically and I chose a little bit longer one so you can you can basically choose where you want your oh I guess you do need a ruler it doesn't have to be anything fancy uh, I'll use my handy dandy uh, spider-man ruler here to measure out uh, what I want and uh, maybe a marker to or a sharpie all of these extra things so that you can see it but anyway so measure out, you know, plug this in into your into your VTX, measure out where you want your antenna to be on like your UFL. Um, and then, so like, let's say I want the end of my antenna to be here, right? So I'll mark that and then I'll take this guy and I'll measure back my, what did I say? Eh, 13 millimeters, basically 12.92 millimeters. So that is about 12.92 millimeters and this will be a quarter wave dipole and if you want to do a half wave it's just double that um, but that's going to be a quarter wave uh, dipole for uh, five eight so we'll just cut it and then you know, measure twice kind of thing yep all right so I'm not cutting the well actually I'm gonna take this size and figure out what size I need on my strippers here so just cut in and what we want to do is we want to cut 
we want to cut the yeah we want to cut the insulation off but not cut into the the wire core here right like there's so there's a wire that goes around it and then there's a, a core that's in there that's going to be our antenna so basically 22 uh, gauge wire seems to be appropriate so i'll cut this one right on my little mark there and I'll pull it off. So you can see there's all this, like, uh, here, let me zoom in a little bit on this. So you can see there's all this insulation there, right? So basically we want to take this back to, you know, our 12.2 millimeters and our 12.92 millimeters, sorry. So just basically push this insulation out of the way here. And I just work it around a bit. Um, you can twist it off the whole thing like it, it so basically you'll have an exposed piece which is your antenna for your 5.8 system and the other thing you can do is take your your cutters here and snip off a little bit of the shielding There we go. So that's it. That's our that's our antenna, right? So now we can put we can put this guy. Well, the other thing we want to do is we want to check our length one more time to make sure that we are the the 12.92 millimeters, and and I'm pretty close on that. So that's our 5.8 gigahertz antenna, custom made UFL that will be lighter weight than you know, any of the other antennas, but uh, fly this by yourself. Don't fly it with friends. I'm not a big fan of uh, dipoles uh, for that reason. Uh, the, there's a reason why we use circular polarized, but I mean, if you're not, if you're transmitting at 25 milliwatts and you're, you have a lightweight system, like, you know, go for one of these. This is actually, this is actually a pretty good, pretty good way to save a couple grams on your your three inch quad or your smaller ones so uh. all right so it's that simple you know you just take you know to turn you know one of these sma extensions into a lightweight uh antenna for your quad and i'll put uh in the description i'll put the the common frequencies and what the quarter wavelength is for them so that you know it, it's a little bit easier but you know, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and dislike the video if you don't like it. So, uh, and if you think I got anything wrong, you know, I'm I'm sure people will let me know down below too. So, uh, thanks for watching.